Did you know it's now fully possible to develop full games from your Quest 3? Well, between sideloading and Godot Game Engine's Android application, it is. As you guys may have noticed from plenty of my other video content, I've delved pretty deep into the sideloading and uh, extra application features of the Quest 3. And this time isn't any different. I spent on the order of probably five hours in Godot on my Quest 3. But enough about that for now. Let's get into how to do it. So the first step, if you haven't done this already, is to get SideQuest. Now going into SideQuest, there are actually two types of installers you can download. The easy installer is specifically used to install onto your Quest directly, like an, an application. Now the advanced installer offers a few features that are not present in the easy installer. Most importantly, being able to sideload APKs from your computer. So we're going to do that one. In all honesty, it's ideal to also eventually run the easy installer. But for the bare minimum use case, you just need to install Godot through this advanced installer. Although I already have mine installed, the installer is fairly straightforward. So inside SideQuest, you can see in the top left corner, there is a statement of not detected. You do have to do a couple steps to get your headset to connect to your SideQuest instance. Now there are instructions up here under this tab. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. First and foremost, you need to be on a dev account. So you have to go through the meta process of becoming a, a business corporation, like set up a developer account. Honestly, it's been long enough for me that you probably should just follow the tutorial in SideQuest there. Now, once you do have a developer account, you can go in under the settings, and then developer settings, turn on developer mode. Now, I've seen mixed messages as to whether you need to reboot your headset or not, but it's a good practice. So next, you need to physically connect USB-C to your headset and the other end to your laptop or computer. And one of the final steps is to actually put on your headset and allow access to data and USB debugging. Once you do that, you can see up in the top left corner that it, my Quest is connected. Now you do need the Godot game engine. So go ahead and look up the Godot website, godot.org. Then under download, there are a couple different options. Of course, for your regular desktop OS, but further down, they actually have some other non-standard, including for Android. So you can see at the bottom, you just hit the check mark for Android, and there you go. They actually do let you download it from the Play Store, but in this situation, that's not applicable. Now in the top right corner on SideQuest, you got to click that little download button and select the APK you want, and it from there it tries to install. As you can see, once it finishes, it says all tasks completed. And from there, it's on your headset. Now before moving on, I want to go over a better alternative. So I'm actually going to install the Amaze file manager onto my Quest, and I'll show you how to do that. You don't have to use a maze, it's just one that is open source. But having a file manager, especially on your Quest, allows for you to install apps from unknown sources on the Quest directly without ever needing a laptop. There are a couple ways around this now, uh, with some Android apps and, some, and something in the SideQuest store, but this is something I know is tried and true. And once it's set up one time, as long as you don't reset your headset, it's great. So... You just download the Amaze File Manager. You click that button in the top right corner. And same as Godot, you're able to install. So once you have those applications on your headset, you're able to go to Unknown Sources and launch either one of them. Or in this situation, if you have a maze and you haven't installed Godot yet, you can just go to the Godot website and you're able to download it directly. So you just go to Godot, Android, and here's the download link right here on the center of the page. So you don't have to go searching for it like on the PC. And the best part is the same goes for other applications you trust that are downloadable for Android, such as like Firefox. They host it as well as on their website or in Telegram. In the past, I've showed people I've been using Telegram on my headset. I didn't actually install it for my computer. I used this method. The first time you do try to install an app through a maze, it will ask if you want to install from unknown sources and you select yes. But after that, it, it no longer prompts you. But it, and what's great about having a file manager on here is for Godot, uh, it makes it a little easier to look at some of the files, as the default files option from Oculus doesn't quite have the same features. At least I had issues extracting files with it. 
Now for some of you that are familiar with Godot, you can see this is just the exact same menu system you have on the PC. There are a few options that are different under the renderer. They're limited because of Android. And when you run the game, it runs it like a native Android app. You can't export at least two PC applications. I think there's a way to generate an APK, although it's limited in, in scope. So you really just can run your game within the engine as of this point. I'm just excited because this shows the productivity opportunity of the Quest headset. You don't have to have a laptop streaming to the Quest to do something like this. I definitely have done a little bit of development using my laptop streaming to my headset because it gives me multi-monitor support for Godot and you know the keyboard and mouse setup I'm used to. But using a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse with your headset like this is not a bad experience. It definitely shows some of the weak points of the Quest UI where they can improve. But it also shows the strengths that if these applications become more readily accessible without having to be in dev mode, there's a lot of power here. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.